Hey, what's good family? The buyer's getting ready to move. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I charted it, what I see, and after we chart it, we're gonna talk about what way the spy could be moving and how much and all that good stuff. Now, without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, so here we are looking at the spy. And as you can see, I, I just cleared my chart. So there's nothing on it except for this alert that for some reason won't go away. But anyways, we're looking on the four hour chart and what we're gonna start out by doing is analyzing the trend. All right, so first thing we can see is here, let's go over to where we are now. We have a low, we have a high, we have a high, and let's say the high runs up to here. We got a low, we got a higher high, we got a slightly higher low. So as you can see, we're in an uptrend. Uh, now what I am going to do, I'm gonna just kind of look and see if I any see any areas of support or resistance, any areas that it could bounce off. Uh, and one thing that I am noticing right here is I can see that there is a, a nice little trend line that could be drawn right here. So what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna come in, draw the trend line, and it's okay if it's not necessarily perfect. So there's a couple ways this could go. I could try to like draw it like this, but we don't know where this new area right here is going. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna draw it like this, extend it out a little bit, and come in with the assumption that hey it could reverse right here it could consolidate over here but either way something's happening so and when i say consolidate i want you to kind of look and see the spy ran up here traded sideways and then ultimately it ended up bouncing off this trend line and going up so something like that could happen here and you know say we consolidate here and continue the trend to the upside. All right, so some things I see right here, we already have the trend line here. Uh, now coming in, looking at support and resistance, you always wanna know what your next levels are. I see support right here at about this uh, 556.30 area. So this line right here is representing support. Uh, looking for next resistance, I would probably set it right here, just right around 560. So right here, looking at the SPY, uh, we got resistance up here at 559, about 70 in support around here, 556.30. Now that I have my trend lines, I have my support and resistance. If I were just trading trend lines and support and resistance, what I would be looking for is the break of one of these lines, whether it be the break of the resistance, the break of support, uh, probably more importantly than the break of support since if it breaks support, just trend line still, you got like a, maybe like two or $3 movement from trend line to support if it fell right here. Maybe I'm more looking for the break of the trend line for me to actually consider downside, but we've been running this trend for some time and if it's not broken, don't fix it. So what I would look for is a retest of this trend line. Maybe it respects this level of support, trade sideways, and then we eventually reach this trend line. And that could look something like this before going up and making a new high at the least. So should that happen, that would be from 556. Uh, we also, also want to point out there is a gap right here that is left unfilled. And for those of you that don't know what gaps are, gaps are the candle closed right here and then opened here. And gaps, all every gap is going to be filled at some point. So that is an area that the market's looking to come back to. One last thing to finish this charting is uh, we are also in a demand zone. And the way that we locate a demand zone, we see we're in an uptrend. Here, let me delete this. We see that we're up in an uptrend. A, a demand zone is going to be drawn at the last bearish candle before a new high. So right here, we got a bearish candle, but it didn't create a new high. So that's not demand. This over here would have been a level of demand, but it's it, it was ripped right through. So... The next level of demand or the next demand zone we have is actually right here. So if we take that 
and we draw it, you can see that we are actually currently in the demand zone as well. So it would definitely not be out of the question for us to kind of shoot up out of here. We could consolidate for some time, like originally st stick into this, but it would not surprise me if we gapped up or took off tomorrow or in the coming days. Just wanted to put this on your radar. It looks like we have a big move on the SPY coming up. Uh, some things I want you to keep in mind with this. All right, so we have the demand zone here. We have the gap here. First level of resistance is gonna be 560. Uh, next level is gonna be 561. Then we got this 562. Then we got 563. Okay, just, just count up by one. Ultimately, we are looking for that new high. And if we still have strength at 565, is not out of the question for this to do something like 570. One thing I want you to realize though with this is what I am charting this on is the four hour chart. So each one of these candles is four hours of time. So let's say it decides to just kind of ride this trend line for the rest of the time. That means if it rides and respects this trend line and it was just doing the least that it could do. Today is July 17th could potentially take till Wednesday the 34th in order to make new highs. So with that information, if you plan on trading this, plan on capitalizing off this in any way, uh, keep this in mind. I charted this on the four hour chart. More than likely, it's going to take longer for this to be realized. Uh, that being said, things don't always go the way that we expect them to. Just because this trend line has been respected and continue to push it up, hey, Trend lines fail every now and then. So next thing you're going to want to do is identify the next level of support that it could come down to if this area fails. For me, what that is looking like, hey, we got a uh, support right here at 554 is a potential area it can come to. Then we got uh, about this 551 area all the way down to, I, I could see it coming down to 49. 49 is the next major level I would watch for this to come to. Hey family, if you enjoyed this video or learned anything, be sure to smash the like button. I know for some of you that are newer to this, hey, that may have been a lot. I, I wanna continue to do stuff like this to help you see what it's like, uh, let you know what's on my mind and really get you in there. That way you're not so dependent and that way you can also become an asset to me, especially in the Discord, bouncing and sharing ideas. If you made this far and haven't already, be sure to subscribe. And last, but certainly not least, thank you so much for watching. Matthew Manuel signing off, and I want to change your life.